Hi, you guys. So Ruby here. Okay, you guys, we are going to talk about the new safety entrant audit. What do we need? How is it? Oh, it's nerve wracking. I know I was, I submitted everything a few weeks ago and the moment that they reach out to you from your um, DOT office in your state, they're going to tell you, I need you to submit all these documents within 20 days from the notice of the letter that you get. I got a letter <laughs> and I don't know why I was so nervous and it just like, it's just nerve wracking because you think like, Oh, I hope I got it right. I hope I, you know, submitted everything. I'm hoping I don't forget anything. So you get this letter. Okay. Talking about action required documents to complete your required safety audit for a new business. Okay. Oh, I was so nervous and just the thought of it just kind of just, ooh. okay. I'm going to share with you guys everything that I submitted for this audit. It was nerve wracking, you know, just the thought of, I hope I did it right. I hope I have my supporting documents. I hope I file for what I needed to file for because if I did it, <sighs> anxiety just kind of kicked in right there. Whew. Okay. So when you get your notice um, from your state, you're going to be sent an email and it's going to ask all of this, all of these documents that need to be submitted and uploaded electronically. Um, so I'm going to go through everything that I submitted um, into my new entrance safety audit. And then we're going to find out whether or not I failed or passed my safety audit or if they need more information from me um, or if I didn't submit an application or if I don't have a program that I actually need to have to be able to conduct business over the road. Ay, Dios mío, ayúdame. Okay. Whew. So let's go ahead and talk about everything that I submitted into my safety, my new safety entrant audit. Okay. Um, I just want to, I just want to reiterate this with you guys. It's okay if you guys forgot to upload a document, if you guys forgot to file something, um, they give you a chance to make the corrections and they give you a correction, a plan of correction. Okay. You will not get fined on your new safety entrant audit. That's exactly what I was told. Cause I spoke to the lady and I was just like a nervous wreck. She's like, honey, it's okay. I wish everybody was like you is what she said. And I wish more people were like you eager to make sure that you guys are doing this right. And I was like, this is my business. Like, why wouldn't they take this serious? And she's like, Oh, you wouldn't believe the people that I've come across. And we, we just won't even go into it. Cause that's just irrelevant at this point. But she, she made me understand that it's okay if I'm missing something or if I, if I forgot to file something, she said, we can correct it. We'll have a correction plan. And then you make the adjustments and corrections and then you just file it. I was like, okay, well, that makes me feel much better. So this is where I'm here telling you guys, it's okay, don't be a nervous wreck. I was, I didn't sleep because of the anxiety just like really got to me and it's just, it's not worth it. Like really it's not. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the list of everything that we need to make sure. So um, in that um, website, you're going to upload all your documents. So I gathered all my documents that I needed um, to be able to upload onto the website. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys each document. And I'm just going to kind of check it off my list. So I'm not, so I'm just making sure that I'm not forgetting something um, to share with you guys, because I would hate to like forget to share something. And then you guys are like, Ruby, I forgot to do this. And you didn't tell me that. I don't want to be that one that you guys come pointing that finger to. So I'm going to go ahead and just share this with you guys. Okay. Um, so we are going to need your certificate of liability. Okay. Um, this is for your business. Um, she's going to want the MCS 90, um, which is your copy of endorsement, which is pretty much your proof of insurance for your business. Okay. Um, so this is our COI or copy of, um, or certificate of liability for the business. Um, you need to have at least 750,000, but to work with brokers, you're going to have to have a million in your general liability and then a hundred thousand in cargo. Okay. So we need to make sure you guys have the proper insurance. Now, this is something that I'm going to share with you guys. When you guys are submitting the documents, make sure, um, like if you're going to a third party, um, to, to do certain stuff for you, make sure you are following up with them to make sure that they receive the documents. And I'll share this why. So, um, next you have to, this is my CDL driver. 
And so you have to be enrolled into a drug and alcohol um, consortium. So um, I am enrolled because my husband is CDL. So we do have him enrolled into a drug and alcohol consortium. And this is where I'm going to tell you why you guys want to make sure you guys are following up. Because in our incident, in my incident, actually, because I'm the one that submitted all the documents. Um, so when I got the application from the... The, the clinic that's doing our consortium, which is our random drug testing, random drug and alcohol testing, um, we went to Sanford and it, it was it, it was just overlooked. It was a, a minor mistake. Um, it's okay. No harm was done. You know, the corrections were made. And so what I did was they, when I submit that application back to them stating that I'm choosing you guys to handle the random drug testing pretty much, um, I filled out my application, which is, I'm just kind of gathering all the documents, which is our random drug testing program. And it just gives all the information to our business. I filled this out. I submitted it back to them in an email. And so when I got the letter for me to do my, um, my new safety entrant audit, I called them and I was like, oh, I need something showing proof that you guys are the ones handling my consortium. She's like, well, we don't have nothing on file. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry. And she's like, we don't have anything for you. Did you submit your application? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she was like, oh, don't play with me right now. Cause I'm like, my level of stress is like way up to here. Right. And she's like, no Ruby. She goes, we didn't get nothing. And I'm like, oh. and I was second guessing myself. I'm like, did I submit it or did I not submit it? So then I went back to my email and this is where <laughs> luckily for me, um, I found it in my email and I forwarded it to her. I was like, yes, I sent you <laughs> I sent you the application on this date and at this time um, with the attachment of um, the application choosing you guys for a consortium. And I printed out, I forwarded her the email stating that I did submit it and the attachments were there. And I actually submitted this into my new safety entrant audit just in case it showed that we weren't enrolled when we needed to have been enrolled prior to us being out over the road. I, <laughs> I included just for my benefit and my security, I included my application that I submitted to the safety um, entrant audit. They probably didn't need it and probably didn't give two fucks about it, but I still submitted it. I submitted the, the invoice and when I paid the invoice and I submitted the transaction that was billed for that um, program. So I submitted all that document. So you need to have a consortium to handle your drug and alcohol. Um, and like I said, if you guys are going through a third party, make sure you guys are following up with them that they received it and processed it um, prior to your driver being out on the road, okay? So that is our drug and alcohol consortium, okay? Um, prior to your driver being out, out over the road, he needs to have a drug, a drug screening. So, um, and it has to be for the business. If you guys are going to be owner operators, make sure that it's for, for us, it's going to be for FNR transport, as you guys see here on the document. And this is showing proof that my driver did have a drug screening prior to him being out over the road. And then of course it has the date that the drug screening was, um, uh, was, uh, done. And then I have, I also submitted, so I submitted that. And then I submitted the letter of the results from his drug screening, which he was negative. <laughs> okay. So um, it, it didn't say for specific documents. It just said showing, you know, proof of drug screening. So I did submit that and then his results from that. Um, so they're also going to ask for your medical examiner certificate. Um, he needs to have this prior to being um, out over the road. And so, and then he has to carry this with him as well at all times. Usually they would send it like in a little itty bitty card, but this is what they send now. And so, like I mentioned in a previous video, my husband has all his documents in a portfolio. portfolio. So if ever the DOT officer wants to see it, they're going to just, you know, skip through pages, everything's organized, all the documents are protected, it's, you know, just because, you know, he lives in his truck. So this is what they're gonna want to see is the medical certificate. Okay, moving along. So the next thing they're going to ask for is your annual inspection, okay? You need to have an annual re inspection report done on your truck and trailer. Since we have two trucks, um, I currently don't have my first truck, which is our 3500 on the road, but I still submitted it because we had this document and so they needed it um, to see that it was actually done 
Prior to him being out on the road, we do have our inspection for truck number one, our annual inspection for truck number two, and I just submitted a copy of it, and an annual inspection on our trailer. So they will be looking for that. So you want to make sure you have that done because you, you need to have that done when you're on the road. Um, one thing she mentioned to me was I go through um, a third party, and I'm not going to mention the name because I'm not going to give them credit for, you know, um, to do our maintenance for our um, employee that we have, which is our driver which is my spouse um, as far as you know um, getting their application and their uh, record of employment from previous employers and running the uh, MVR report on the drivers on all drivers that you have running under your business we only have just my spouse and so then I was told from our um, the state and where we reside at she goes you know honestly she goes you don't need them and I was like what do you mean <laughs> And she's like, no, she goes, all we really need from that is just your motor vehicle report. And you can pretty much go to the DMV and spend, I don't know, five, 10, 15 bucks to get a motor vehicle report copy. That's all we actually need. I was like, really? I was like, well, I only spend $189 with them. And she's like, oh, that's not as bad compared to other people where they pay five to $600. I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, they are going to want to have your motor vehicle report for your driver. And so this is what I submitted. Um, I um, got that through the company that I went through and I submitted my motor vehicle report for my carrier, my driver, which is my spouse. They're gonna want a copy of his driver's license back in front. I submitted that to them. And let me see what else we are missing. Oh, she's gonna want in a separate email, she stated that she's gonna need um, the annual revenue for our business and our fleet miles for the annual. So I went ahead and I submitted that to her um, in an email, which wasn't on the list of the items that we needed to submit to her. And so another thing she needed was driver list. She needs a list or they need a list of all your drivers. And so what I did was I just created an Excel sheet and I put down my driver, his date of birth, his um, driver's license number, and just the information that she needed. And they'll have a, a mimic, like a copy example um, underneath where before you upload the information electronically, they're going to have... Um, like an example of how they want it formatted. Doesn't have to be precisely as how they have it stated or how they have it on their website. So I just kind of mimicked that and then I created an Excel spreadsheet and that's what I did. And then I uploaded that since we only have one driver, it's just one person on that list. Um, we talked about she needs driver's license of all drivers. And so another thing that they're gonna need is um, 30 days worth of your driver's records of duty from your ELD device. So um, I went into my ELD. We go through keep trucking um, for our ELD. We haven't had any problems with them. Um, everything has worked out fine up to date, you know, as far as keeping track. And there's so many reports on there that you can purchase and use. Um, I go through them to, you know, also generate my reports for my IFTA filing. Um, to keep track of the miles and my fuel and you know my spouse is very good as far as using his ELD device and he has not had not one violation so good job Fernando for not having any violations on your ELD for your keep trucking um, he's always under his 14 hours per day because you know they only give you a certain amount of time to drive and to unload to work pretty much off the truck so he has always been within under his 14 hours he has not gone over on his time so he has always been in compliance when it comes to his ELD but they need to see that so they're gonna ask you to submit it electronically within the keep trucking um, application itself and then you get a code so you want to make sure you call your 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 department where they're going to issue your new safety entrant audit and you're going to need that code so when you submit it to um, the safety audit electronically you need to have that code inside that message so it knows to send it directly to them does that make sense um, so they're going to want a record of your eld for the last 30 days they're gonna want a list of your vehicles. So same concept, I just created an Excel sheet and I listed all the vehicles um, on that Excel sheet. They're gonna want a VIN number, make, year, motto um, of that vehicle. And I did the same thing for the trailer that we have. I listed both trucks. 
only because we started off with our Dodge 3500 in the beginning portion of our business. And then I also listed our 5500 Ram because this is what we are currently currently using over the road. So I did submit that and it was just simple. You know, you just create a simple spreadsheet on Excel, upload it, boom, you're good. Um, they're gonna want an accident register. Um, for all carriers who were involved in a motor vehicle accident in the past three years, um, thank you, Jesus, that my husband has not and will not be in an accident. So there was nothing for us to submit because there was no accidents um, under our authority. So that is pretty much it. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it is definitely, like I said, it's nerve wracking because you wanna make sure you have everything. And that is absolutely everything that they needed. And so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys because I just got this back today. Uh, let me just run through this real quick to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, which I'm not. I really, honestly, everything that I covered is everything that you need for your new safety entrant audit. Um, and so I got my results back today. And so then we'll just go ahead and skip through everything. I'm gonna have a phone call from her tomorrow going through everything. And um, you'll have a report of your general information, your part A. Um, and it just gives you, you know, all the documents, all the information that she submitted. Um, it's a questionnaire and answers to, to, it's pretty much like a checkoff list for her. Um, and I'll give you an example. This one says, does the carrier have the registered or the required minimum level of financial responsibility in effect, which is your insurance? And she answered yes. So she goes through all these questions and answers yes or no, whether it applies or it doesn't apply. So that's what she did. And... Let's see if you guys can see this. Can you guys see this? Pass, pass, pass. We passed our new safety entrant audit. I was like, Whoa! And I called my husband, I was like, we passed. He's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, we passed. <laughs> Be a little bit more excited. That means I did something right. Because it is so nerve wracking. Like when she told me, just it's okay, Ruby. Like if you if you're missing something, we'll fix it. You'll submit it. We'll put in a, a correction plan, and you'll get me the information that I need. Don't worry. So, and this is where I'm telling you guys, don't worry. Um, just make sure you guys have all your documents um, prior to um, to your new inspection. This is definitely the the list that they're going to ask for. Um, I don't see it being any different in any other state, but um, always reach out to your department of um, and see what exactly you need. If there's something different that you guys need to file in the state that you guys reside in. But in the state of North Dakota, this is all that they asked for me. This is the entire list that was given to me of documents that I needed to upload and submit. And I did. Whew. That means I am doing something right. <laughs> I am on the right track with our business. This was nerve wracking, you guys. And prior to um, getting that letter, I actually called them. I'm like, when am I gonna have my new safety entrant audit? And the lady down in the office, she's like, not many people call wanting it. I was like, I just wanna be over and done with it. And so when the officer called me, and he's like, yes, you know, this is so-and-so from the so-and-so department of, you know, new safety entering audit. And I'm like, <laughs> I have been waiting for your phone call. And I told him just like that. He kind of giggled and he's like, why? I was like, cause I want to get this submitted and done and over with. And so he kind of just laughed, but I'm like, no, I'm being very serious. I want to just do this already. So I know if there's something that I need to correct, let me correct it now before we proceed on, you know? Um, and so he was, they were, they were so helpful there um, in the office and, you know, submitting all my documents and answering my questions. But you guys, I pass. This is all the information that they're going to need. So don't worry. Don't, don't stress yourself out like I did and, and, you know, get this anxiety. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I was just so happy. So she's just like, and then the lady's like, well, I'll call you tomorrow so we can go over all the documents. And I'm like, um, Ruby's doing a little <laughs> happy dance right now. Cause I think I passed my safety entrant out and she's like, yes, you did. I was like, <laughs> I was just like a little kid who got an A plus on her spelling test. <laughs> but you guys, I hope this was beneficial. 
If I can do it, you guys can do it without a doubt. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you guys with the answers. Um, anything that you guys need help with, definitely just reach out to us. Um, I'm here to help you guys out. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. If you guys have any suggestions on any other videos, um, please let me know in the comments. I think I still, I've been busy. Whew. Lord knows I've been busy. Um, I still have two videos that I have on my list that I still want to do and then um, um, upload. But I'm going to wait till my husband comes home so we can do one together. And But other than that, you guys, um, thanks for being here and supporting our page and our journey and all the comments and love that you guys have given us to this day. We are truly grateful and appreciative of every single one of you guys. Um, will you guys take care? God bless. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.